Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. We're going to follow through with this scenario that I've broken up into a whole bunch of little chunks for you. And in this example, we're going to go through this trace file of this looping packet. And um, it's, a real, it's a real actual job I'm working on. So the bits and pieces are coming out as I work with the client. In this case, I asked him to simply set up a machine. We'll VNC into it. I will do a capture. He uh, claims that the firewall guys have gone through the firewall config and did find an IP helper address misconfiguration. And they want to know if the problem is still happening. So that's one thing we're going to do. So trace files are very good at validating what people claim. So in this case, they claim there's no loop or they claim they fixed the loop. And we're going to find out if that's the case. After that, if it's still there, then we'll dig around. So this trace file is 9,559 packets. It's relatively small. I've got the defaults up because uh, in my last video, people commented they like watching how I set up Wireshark and why I do things the way I do. So I'll do that in this example. So the first thing is I'm going to turn the colors off because it's not helping me at all right now. I'm just poking around and I find it distracting. It actually gives me a headache after a while. The other thing I'm going to do is get rid of these two panes. I'm going to get rid of this view. The bottom pane bites. Get rid of that. You know what, I'll leave the detail pane up just for a bit. So the easiest thing to do, a little trick, is to find out if we have that loop, as you saw in the previous video, I'm going to go to the time to live here. In this case, it's 128. Um, I'm going to pick a arbitrary number that I'm not expecting to see. So I'm going to right click on this guy. I'm going to prepare it as a filter, not apply, prepare as a filter selected. And I'm going to change this just to uh, 12 there, enter. And boom, there's a whole bunch of 12s, which I'm not expecting. So what that could mean is that there's a loop and this IP time to live is decrementing and it's gotten to 12. So let's find out if that's the case. So I'm going to use this IP version 4 identification number. We're going to right click on that. And this time we're going to apply it as a filter because we're not changing anything. We're just, we just want to use it. So select. And you can see a whole bunch of packets. See that? Same source, same destination IP. Looks like kind of like the same packet, really. Super low delta, because I have my time display format set for seconds since previously displayed, like a delta time, right? And millisecond granularity. So this does look like a loop so far. As we saw in the previous trace, the MAC address is from the sonic wall. And we can see it going out as a broadcast. Let's go over to the top here of the trace. There we go. And we can see this original is not Sonic Wall. It's the client, obviously, sent out a broadcast. And this is different. This is different. Look at that. Redirect. Huh. Who sent that out? This guy. Isn't that interesting? So it looks like uh, this guy sent out a broadcast. This device picked it up. It's not even the default gateway. This device picked it up and sent a redirect to this guy. And an ICMP redirect, ICMP, by the way, people think of when they think of pings and trace routes and whatnot, but they're very valuable when there's a problem because the ICMP um, error or warning or whatever you want to call it, the message, will have within it um, a photocopy of the original packet. So I can find out looking at this redirect if the previous packet actually was referenced. So let's find out. So there's the redirect. And if I go down, you see the ICMP header in here. It says redirect for host. And it's now it's pointing. That's the gateway. That's the gateway. So this guy's telling him uh, to go to the gateway, which is interesting because he wasn't. It's just a broadcast. Hmm. All right. I'm just thinking out loud, folks. I, I'm, I don't know what this is. So, <laughs> so there you go. So there's a, a redirect. And if I move down into the actual ICMP packet, I'll see a photocopy of the original IP version 4 header. And within it, Obviously, the IP identifier, uh, there it is, 4321. So that's that packet. So this is in response to that packet. Huh. All right. So where does the sonic wall come in then? Because that's not a sonic wall MAC address. So let's go to the next one. Boom. Oh, look at that. So client broadcast, mystery box, redirect, and sonic wall repeats the original packet and now he gets a redirect wow see this is the best part of a protocol analysis in the first trace we remove the clients um, address from the trace to make the trace smaller and manageable by doing so um, I didn't see this so I don't even know if this was in the original trace right because it was filtered 
Uh, that being said, we do have some trace files right at the beginning that has everything. So I could always go back and look at it, but that's neither here nor there. We, we actually, this is what we have right now. So we can see client, this mystery box and sonic wall and just redirect, redirect, redirect. Where's the actual loop we saw before? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's pretty freaky. So then the redirects stop from the mystery box and after that it's just what sonic wall yeah why did this guy give up all of a sudden mr nosy pants now we got to figure that out um, so the time to live on this guy is 64 so it's not like it ran out because then we would have seen a time to live exceeded um, so this power mea box and there's the ip i'm going to go check it out i'm going to talk to the client see what it is he's obviously getting involved so yeah, that's it. So that's happening multiple times. So now that I know I actually have this ICMP redirect, uh, what we can do is simply right click on this type 5, apply that as a filter. Why not? And uh, we'll see a whole whack. Yeah, look at them all. Again, I'll pick any random one. Uh, you can go into the IP header. Again, we'll look at that identifier, like that fairly unique serial number. And uh, yeah, there's another one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell the client that we have to go check out that mystery box, this uh, 0239, with that MAC address that starts with Power MEA. Find out what it's doing, how it's configured, and why it's redirecting stuff. Um, so I guess that's it, folks. So until I hear back from the client, that's what we did. That's what we got. And hope you have a good day. Bye for now.